Hey guys, Adman here. Okay, so what is a teraflop? Because the Google Stadia just got released, and we have this news about the Google Stadia data centers being faster than the PS4 and the PS4 Pro combined. So, what is a teraflop? Okay, so we have to go back in time to a few years before the supercomputer where people needed to do these very, very heavy math calculations for different stuff. We're talking space readings, weather, all that stuff. But the computers then were not fast enough or rather capable of handling it. So that's when supercomputers came into play. From that time, we started seeing advancements in them. We already know that a supercomputer is capable of doing like a far lot more than what your typical home PC can do. So when you think about it that way, you can now imagine what a teraflop is. But first of all, a flop in full floating point operations per second. Okay, so let me break this down. A floating point, if you want to talk about it in a dummy way, just basically think of everything that has a decimal point after it. So basically you see 4.699999999. That is a floating point something. Like I said, it's a dummy thing. I'm not being precise. So now, when your computer is doing so many floating point operations at the same time, that is the amount of calculations, floating point calculations that it can do at a time, is why we have what we call flops. So now, a teraflop is a very, very high amount of flops. That's a very, very high amount of calculations that a computer can do at a time. The best way to describe this is basically try doing this. You solve a problem like say 4.69 plus 1.111. Now, keep trying to solve that for like, you solve it every second. So one second, one second, one second, one second, you keep solving that same thing. And you do that for 31,688.77 years. Each second, don't ever stop. That is what one teraflop does in a second. So basically any computer that is running in teraflops can do that many calculations in just one second. Wow, how does somebody do that much calculation? Okay, I'm not even going to think about it. So a teraflop basically is just the capacity of a computer to be able to do very, very intricate calculations very, very fast in the shortest amount of time possible. Currently, they are working on an even faster means of doing these calculations. So we're talking petabytes, yodobyte. Wait, did I say yodobyte? Oh my god. Okay, we're talking petaflops, yodoflops, and so on. But we'll have to wait and see what will actually happen in the future. As for now, all you need to know is a teraflop is the processing. It's just another way of saying the ability of a computer to process information very, very, very fast. Yeah, okay. If you like this video, like it, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.